Hey guys, thanks to my neighbor, Rhonda Harris. She asked if I would share some ideas about how our family celebrates Advent. And Advent really is my favorite time of year. It's the four weeks leading up to Christmas. And while we're already, uh, today is the second Sunday of Advent, so we're, so we're already a week in, it's not too late to start. Um, and I just wanted to explain a little bit about the tradition of Advent and then what our family does to celebrate it and what we're doing this year to give you some ideas if you need them. So Advent is celebrated by getting a wreath of evergreens. Um, the circle represents eternity and the evergreen branches represent the eternal life that we have through Jesus Christ. And Advent comes from a word in Latin meaning to, to come. And really the heart of Advent is from Isaiah 40, verses three through five. And the prophet Isaiah wrote, a voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And Advent really is a time that we take the four weeks before Christmas to prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ. We remember that he came 2,000 years ago as a baby in a manger, and we remember that he's coming again as King Jesus, as the lamb who was slain, but who is standing, as it says in Revelation 5, and who comes to make all things new. And so we use these four weeks to prepare our hearts for his coming. And um, so in the midst of all the craziness, I have four kids, it's, it's school craziness, it's uh, Christmas giving, gift giving craziness, uh, it's holiday party craziness, it's, but, but in the midst of it all is this constant reminder at the center of our table to come and prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ. So the four, there are four candles, they're really supposed to be purple, um, that represent royalty or burgundy, that represents suffering but mine melted in the attic this summer, and I haven't gotten new ones yet. So, um, picture burgundy or purple and then the center one is white it's a Christ candle that you light on Christmas Day but the four candles represent the four weeks leading up to Christmas and the first one is the prophecy candle um, representing the prophets who foretold of the coming of Christ for thousands of years before his coming the second is the Bethlehem candle that represent the way that God paved through Bethlehem, this, this tiny little town for the savior of the world to come. And then the third is the shepherds, the messengers who told of the birth of Christ. And um, they were lowly, they were humble, and the announcement of his birth came through unexpected ways. And we are invited into that same humility. And then the final, the fourth candle, the fourth Sunday of Advent is the, shep is, excuse me, the angel's candle um, announcing his birth. And so, and then finally on Christmas day, I'm not gonna light it, it's not Christmas day, is the Christ candle. So your supplies are a wreath. I like live, cause I love the smell, but you could easily do um, an artificial one. You need four candles, preferably purple or burgundy, but if yours have melted in the garage, white is fine, or whatever you have on hand. And then a white candle for the center to light on Christmas day. Um, you also need something to light the candles. This is a big deal in our house and something to snuff them out with This is what my grandmother used when I was a little girl uh, But we have to take turns even with my older kids. It's a big deal Okay, and the main thing is that um, You want to each night or if you do it in the mornings But you want to sit around the table. You want to read a passage about the coming of Christ you want to have just discussion questions about um, how basically if you ask the same thing every night how are you preparing your heart for him to come and then uh, to close with prayer and if you want to add in a, a Christmas carol or a Christmas song then that's great too we've used lots of different things over the years to help us this year we are using this book by Asherita Chuchu I looked up how to pronounce her name and it's called unwrapping the names of Jesus and there are uh, there's a devotional for every Sunday of Advent and then for five days during the week. And it's simple. It basically follows the format of what I told you. And it's been great. It's been really sweet. 
and a great platform for us to talk about preparing our hearts through the names of Jesus. And Boss Camp has great resources. You can go to her website. Um, and there just there are I think Jenny Allen has great resources. There are a lot of great things out there. But this is what our family is using this year. And then also there is a woman named Alicia Chloe. If you're a social media person, she's on Instagram and for 25 days she is posting just a simple thought on the coming of Christ according to the book of Luke. And they are simple but powerful. So those are my two main resources this year. This book by Asherita Chuchu, the names, Unwrapping the Names of Jesus, and uh, Alicia Chloe's posts on Instagram. And then of course my own devotional quiet time that I have each morning. I just sort of continue with whatever, whatever I'm doing throughout the year and use our family time to celebrate Advent. So I hope this helps. I will provide the links to the book and to the Instagram posts. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm so excited to celebrate Advent this year. Again, it's truly my favorite time of year with our family. And if you have great ideas, let me know those as well. So have a great day and enjoy celebrating Advent.